Reporting for Galvanize, I'm Kristen Payne in Florida, covering the 2018 Jacksonville Jaguars rookie class. I had the opportunity to sit down with offensive lineman Casey McDermott and talk about how the competition he's facing right now is something he's seen before. So you grew up with three brothers, all played offensive line, all around six foot, 300 pounds. I heard y'all were always fighting for the front seat, the back seat, always fighting for who is the best at sports. How does all of that help you right now competing for a spot on this team? It really showed me what competition is like. Uh, you know, growing up with two older brothers, you're the youngest, you know, they like to pick on you and all that fun stuff that older brothers like to do. But being able to hang with them and, and comp compete with them on and off the field was always a fun thing to do. When I was a kid, we would, um, my practices ended about maybe an hour before theirs did. So I would go from my practice to their practice and actually practice with their team and compete with guys their age. And they were, four or five years older than I was, and I was able to ha hang with them. Also, it's not just your family, but you competed your whole, your whole career at Miami, but you didn't start until you were a sophomore because of your injury. What did you learn from the bench that helped you? Uh, just sitting back, and honestly, what was a great help was when I got hurt my freshman year, I was able to watch my brother play his last year. And um, to understand what he went through, because he went through surgeries, adversity, position loss, starting, not starting, starting, doesn't know what he's going to do during the week. Um, be able to watch him and how he matured through that and that really gave me an insight to what I should do when, I'm a, when I was a senior and um, to watch him go through all that and watch uh, the other teammates and, and be in those meetings versus, uh, versus opponents, learning a game plan and everything. Just taking all the small details and applying them throughout the week. I really learned that from Shane, and, and I have a lot to owe to him for that. And I heard that your last semester of college, you only took one class, but I heard that you spent educating yourself in football. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, so I had one class, um, it was dance class, so I uh, <laughs> just had one credit left to fill, so I took it with a two credit dance class, and um, that was Tuesdays and Thursdays for an hour. So on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and even on Tuesday, Thursday, in the mornings, I would um, go to my coach's office and we'd sit there and, and I'd be taking part in the game plan. I'd be sitting there going to from his office to the office coordinator's office doing a run game uh, plan, making sure that I understood what they were seeing and that made football make a lot more sense to me. Understanding you know, why we're running this play in this situation versus that defense or what we want the defense to do when we're lined up in this formation. Just understanding that, and then my coaching would advance a little bit more into learning coverages, learning um, what certain stances tell you, learning what linebacker position tells you. All that stuff really made me a better football player this past year, so I was getting my education in dance and football at the same time. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Casey, and I wish you all the best. Thank you.